I'm Patrick Blugbid. With me today are Amy Bourne and Charlene Floyd with the Norfolk District Regulatory Office. They are both environmental scientists and we're standing in Isle of Wight County, Virginia where they're going to perform a preliminary jurisdictional determination to find out if there are waters of the United States, including wetlands, on this piece of property that are regulated under the Section 404 of the Clean Water Act. In case you were wondering, Congress enacted Section 404 in 1977 with the passage of the Clean Water Act. Congress tasked the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Regulatory Branch with protecting not only all navigable waters under Section 10 of the Rivers and Harbors Act in 1899, but also their tributaries and associated wetlands under Section 404. The Norfolk District Regulatory Office regulates the construction of private piers, dredging, groins under Section 10, the building of riprap revetments and bulkheads under Section 10 and 404, as well as regulates road crossings, dams, land clearing, and residential and commercial development in non-tidal wetlands under Section 404. The main goal for the district is to provide protection of the nation's waters while allowing reasonable development through fair, flexible, and balanced permit decisions. Property owners need to be aware if waters and or wetlands are present on their properties, they need to take the necessary steps in determining what they can and cannot do in those areas. It is the property's owner's responsibility to contact the proper federal, state, and local agencies for permitting, much like our homeowner is doing here. Okay, ladies, so what do we have? Uh, Patrick, right now we're standing in a floodplain wetland of this uh, intermittent stream behind me. Um, after doing some upfront up homework at the office this morning, uh, we took a look at some aerials and some topographic mapping in order to determine exactly where we are in the landscape. Um, but to make a jurisdictional determination of the area uh, as to whether we have waters of the United States, including wetlands, um, we're going to be taking a look at the soils that I've just augured into here, uh, the vegetation surrounding us, as well as uh, any hydrology on the site. Once the environmental scientists put eyes on the scene and take the information they gathered from the work they performed at the office, they can move on to the second step of the process, and that is flagging. We are going to flag off the jurisdictional wetlands that connect to the stream system. And we start with the Toa Slope. And the Toa Slope is where the, the slope meets the floodplain wetlands. Continue on the wetland line. I'm hanging a flag here due to the fact that this area meets all three wetland criteria being the hydric soils, the hydrophytic vegetation, as well as hydrology. Time out. If you remember earlier I said property owners need to be aware of such waters and what they can and cannot do in them, now you're probably asking yourself why. Well, with the help of an animation, here is why wetlands are important. Wetlands serve the environment in several different ways. Their root structure helps to prevent erosion along the sides of rivers and streams. Also, when rainfall occurs, wetlands act as a filter taking impurities, including pesticides and fertilizers, out of the water, preventing those chemicals from entering the larger bodies of water where they can cause algae blooms and wreak havoc on the ecosystems of the waterways. Also when it rains, wetlands act as a sponge helping to absorb flood waters and lessening the effects of flooding downstream. Okay, Amy, Charlene, so you found what you believe to be some possible waters in the United States, wetlands on this, this property. What do the homeowners out there that may have the same sort of situation or they suspect they might, they're not sure, what should they do? Well, today, Patrick, we did find an uh, intermittent stream on the property as well as a floodplain wetland that connects uh, to it. It actually is a tributary of Jones Creek, which drains to the James River. Um, in this situation, at this point, the homeowner would want to contact uh, his local core office, in this case being in Isle of Wight, Virginia, that would be the Norfolk District Office, um, to find out information about any possible work or activities he would want to do uh, within the vicinity of the wetland or actually within the wetland. For more information about wetlands, be sure to contact your local area U.S. Army Corps of Engineers office as well as your state's environmental offices to find out what laws in regards to wetlands they may have. You can find your local Corps office by going to www.usace.army.mil and click on the About Us tab and then click on Locations. Doing this work up front will help you to protect a vital resource as well as save you from potentially breaking laws and facing consequences. For Amy Bourne and Charlene Floyd, this is Patrick Bluggett with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, Norfolk District.